What treatment should be given to elderly patients with respiratory rate? The treatment for elderly patients with an abnormal respiratory rate depends on the underlying cause. Here are some general guidelines. 1. Assessment and Monitoring Initial assessment, thoroughly evaluate the patient, including medical history, physical examination, and diagnostic tests, for example, blood tests, chest x-rays, pulse oximetry, arterial blood gases. Monitor vital signs, continuous monitoring of respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, heart rate, and blood pressure. 2. Oxygen therapy. Hypoxemia, administer supplemental oxygen if the patient is hypoxemic, low blood oxygen levels. The method and amount depend on the severity. Nasal cannula, for mild hypoxemia. Face mask, for moderate hypoxemia. Non-rebreather mask or high-flow nasal cannula, for severe hypoxemia. Oxygen saturation goals, typically aim for SPO2 between 92 to 96 percent unless there's a chronic lung condition like COPD, where the target might be lower, 88 to 92 percent. 3. Treat underlying causes. Infections, antibiotics for bacterial pneumonia or antivirals for influenza. COPD or asthma, bronchodilators, for example, albuterol, corticosteroids, and sometimes antibiotics if there's an infectious exacerbation. Heart failure, diuretics, ACE inhibitors, or beta blockers. Pulmonary embolism, anticoagulation therapy. Pain or anxiety, appropriate analgesics or anxiolytics. 4. Ventilatory support. Non invasive ventilation. CPAP or BiPAP for conditions like COPD exacerbations, pulmonary edema, or obstructive sleep apnea. Invasive ventilation, for severe respiratory failure or when non-invasive methods are inadequate. 5. Medications. Bronchodilators, for obstructive airway diseases. Steroids, to reduce inflammation in conditions like COPD, asthma, or severe allergic reactions. Diuretics for fluid overload and heart failure. Antibiotics slash antivirals, for respiratory infections. Anticoagulants, for pulmonary embolism. 6. Hydration and Nutrition. Ensure proper hydration and nutrition, which are critical for recovery and overall health. 7. Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation. Pulmonary Rehabilitation, to improve respiratory muscle strength and overall fitness. Chest physiotherapy, to help clear secretions in patients with significant mucus production. 8. Palliative care. For patients with terminal illnesses, palliative care may be appropriate to ensure comfort and quality of life. 9. Patient education and follow-up. Educate the patient and caregivers on managing the condition, recognizing warning signs, and ensuring adherence to treatment plans. Schedule regular follow-up appointments to monitor progress and adjust treatments as necessary. Individualized care. Treatment plans should be individualized based on the patient's overall health, comorbidities, preferences, and goals of care.